Stockton's football team has been cycling through head coaches. The Blackhawks have their fourth in eight years in Sean Downey. He's changing things up. Let's get a closer look in our football two-a-days preview. Downey's an NUIC guy. He was an assistant coach at EPC when the Wildcats won a state championship in 2014. He was an assistant at Stockton the last four years, and now as the head coach, he's implementing some new ideas. We're making some big changes uh, offensively and defensively, um, some new schemes, um, some different faces on the coaching staff, some different different uh, players in different positions. One of the new faces on the coaching staff is Randy Ashey, the former head coach at EPC. For me, it's good to have uh, a guy with head coach experience on staff or it's my first year, I can bounce, bounce ideas off of him. Coach Ashey and his son Riley have also helped Stockton's strength and conditioning program make huge strides. And that's really where you can see the difference in a lot of these kids. They're, they're stronger, they're faster, they're more confident in themselves. As for players switching positions, let's start with the Blackhawks' new quarterback, Colby Tucker. He's been a receiver the last several seasons. At first it was pretty hard because I haven't played quarterback since sixth grade, and, uh, but it's getting a lot easier, like getting to know it better. He fits kind of our uh, play-action bootleg scheme just a little bit better, um, but, uh, and he's a competitor. Senior Tanner Guile is adjusting to two new positions. He slimmed down and moved from fullback to tailback on offense. And on defense, he moves from middle linebacker to cornerback. I used to be a bigger boy. I played lineman my freshman year. I got moved to linebacker, and I lost a bit of weight, and I got moved to DB. Guile and senior Carl Hub will be Stockton's main running backs. Hub rushed for 554 yards last year to lead the team. The Blackhawks returned two key offensive linemen and guards Michael Haas, who was first team all conference last year, and Wesley Logman. And we got some young guys that are really coming on. Senior Brady Haas supplies speed to the receiver position and at defensive back. Carson McPeak, who played quarterback last year, now will see action at running back and inside linebacker. Do you think overall this is maybe a faster team than in the past? It's definitely a more athletic team than usual that I'm used to. Uh, tonight at 9 and 10 on our two days, we're going to feature the Hananiga Indians.